Today I'm gonna show you an awesome place that's very good for finding arsenic. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. I've been looking for arsenic for my next engineering upgrade and I asked over on my Discord server if anybody knew of a good place other than just running around planet surfaces and somebody told me of this very very awesome place that I'm going to show to you guys today. But before we do it, um, if you have any questions or if you just want to, uh, to be part of an awesome community, go ahead and uh, follow the link in the description below the video to my Discord server and uh, come over and say hi or if you have any questions feel free to ask, there are plenty of very helpful people over there. And if I'm online, I will also be very happy to answer your questions. Or if you just want to say hi. But anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and let's have a look at this place. Now what we have to do is you're going to come to this system called uh, Upsilon Phenosis, I think it is. Um, and when you come into a system, what you need to do is you're going to come to the second planet. As you approach the second planet, there will be a tourist beacon popping up, so you don't have to travel by coordinates. Um, oh, by the way, be, be aware that this is actually quite a distance um, out. It's kind of the same distance as Quince, as you can see here. Main bubble up here. Down here, close to... Um, Maya's actually over here, but there's some of the engineers down here. Um, but it's it's a little distance, so make sure you have a ship with a good jump rate. But when you're here, you have to get to the first planet, and you will see this... Um, tourist beacon prop, uh, pop up. It's called the Lava Spouse. And basically just take your ship and land it here. Now, in this area, when you drive around, of course, there's the tourist beacon, which is right here. We then drive around this area, and you can use your radar, but they will also pop up. You can see all these white uh, ones that pop up. And you will find these uh, crystalline fragments. Um, they often spawn, uh, they seem to often spawn very close to the, uh, to the actual spouse. Oh, you can actually see this one is, uh, is one of the uh, the one that's not currently active. And you shoot that, and out of that comes materials. Now in this case it was sink, so this is not really what we're looking for. So we're just gonna gonna keep driving um, around the area, and we're gonna keep going for these crystalline fragments um, until we find what we're looking for. There are whoa, hello, that was a small rock. There are other types of, um, of stuff here that you can shoot that will give you lower grade materials. So there are other stuff you can find here. But generally, for finding materials, this is a very um, um, it's a very good place. I'll try to uh, to compile a list. Oh, is that something? No, that's the tourist beacon. I think yes. Um, but apart from being a very awesome place, uh, there are lots of different stuff, and I'll try to compile a list of all the materials available at this place, at least the ones that I've been able to find. Um, so it might not be a complete list. See, these are the other ones that I talked about that are going to give you lower grade materials. So they, those are not the ones you want to go for. You want to go for these crystallines. Um, crystalline fragments. Let's shoot that and see if we're a little bit more lucky this time. Oh, I'm not hitting it. I think I'm not hitting it. I think I'm hitting the rock in front of it. Hold on. Ha! Sorry. There we go. It's loose. It's another sink, so we're a bit unlucky here. But we, I'm just going to keep uh, dragging around this area and see what we can find. Ah, there we go. There's one. That spawned arsenic. So now, you just pick it up. And rinse and repeat. Now, a small note. Well, there's a lot of them over here. A small note. As you can see here, this is a 1.7G planet. So be careful when you land here. Don't destroy your ship um, if you're not used to landing on uh, on high G worlds. But that's this really all there is to it. You just drive around this area and you shoot up all these. Um, the area is pretty large, so there should be plenty. Um, you shoot up all these fragments and they will give you uh, different materials. So far, I've been able to get zinc and arsenic from them. I'm not sure if there are others, um, but again, I'll put that in the description if I find anything else. Um, I just want to add here at the end that I realized that this site does not respawn when board hopping. So I would expect that this works similar to the surface bases with the scan points. That it's something that quote unquote respawns after about uh, two or three weeks. So you can probably come back to the site once you're done with it um, after two or three weeks to, uh, to redo the whole thing again if you want more arsenic. But anyway... Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked the video. Hope you found it uh, useful. If you did, 
give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, I will see you guys in space.